use this for framing. I feel like I lost a whole week. I actually got a pet commission this week, which is great. It's like the kind of thing that makes me all like motivated and it's kind of interesting how it's always dogs, which is great because I'm less confident with dogs, I think. So I feel like I'm learning a lot. And something that I did learn this week is that there comes a point where if you draw a lot, like paint a lot, you get really, really fast. And sometimes people are like, oh, this painting must be worth way more than this. I go kind of by a time-based wage calculation, but now I've actually found this new scenario where I'm actually spending more time on things. Um, like with pet commissions and that gecko painting, I find that the prices of my paintings are going up not because I'm increasing the price or, or wage or anything, but just because I'm spending more time on them. And it's interesting because I'm obviously getting much better results. Like, especially with pet commissions, I go very slowly because I don't want to mess it up. And the more realistic you make something, the higher the standard it is to get it correct. So I feel like my pace has actually outpaced my commission pricing a little bit. But I'll probably just keep it that way um, until I get more, like, steady. I think tomorrow is a holiday and I might just stay here and do another video audio recording thing because I'm out and um, I got nothing to talk about guys like and I don't really have anything exciting to talk about over my video footage anymore. I feel like I'm now that one relative who's very chatty, who just repeats the same stories over and over again. What makes me mad is that every weekend so far has been raining. Gorgeous during the week a lot of the time, and I just want to go play outside and do things. And then the weekend comes and we can't go anywhere because it's just raining. And you know, we like outdoor things. I mean, obviously everyone has to like outdoor things right now, so it's not fun. It's just wet. There's also these crows that keep trying to steal our tree, branch by branch. Did another draw this in your style thing. Changed it up a little bit and my cousin, <laughs> my cousin <laughs> sent back a postcard and she even put tape on it. <laughs> maybe, maybe I have really like low expectations, but I kind of like expected Canada Post to have like a problem with like stuff. Just a little tilted, still good. <laughs> My god, it feels so much like a Saturday, but it's Friday. And I know that it's like a civic holiday, but they just kind of mess me up. <laughs> Seeing as it's the 2nd of April, I was planning to do all of the um, shipping of the things today, but I guess that's not gonna happen <laughs> because there's no mail service. Usually want to wait until the Patreon is done doing the charging and stuff before you mail things even though i completely trust my patrons because they're usually like the same people over and over again i didn't consider the fact that things might be closed today i don't even know if the vet office is open today because i was going to do that too so like my whole day is just <clears throat> somebody was talking to me about music like album cover stuff and i've never done anything like that before that used to be my favorite part of buying cds was opening the liner notes and stuff. But I would love to try it, at least. I'm just really nervous. Are album covers and stuff, are those different? Like, is this a specific kind of graphic design that people need for album covers and stuff? Or is it just art done to a person's taste? And then they work it out because I know that there's oftentimes text supposed to work into it somehow, but every example that I've seen doesn't have text or anything in it. So I'm like really curious to know like how that, how the process works. I'll see if I get an email again from them. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil this commission because I, because <laughs> I wanted to work on something while I'm chatting, and I realized. I never actually glued these on. I stuck them on with sticky tack because I wanted to scan it. This camera is very nice, this G7X, but um, as far as certain things go, it's not that impressive. I already talked about the sound quality. Video quality is gorgeous. Um, I have issues with macro focusing sometimes. It's so frustrating because like, you know, dinky little point and shoot cameras like this, these are great macro cameras. And by that I mean like super close up, like right up 
to pretty much against the glass you can take pictures of tiny tiny things i love that but it seems like the more fancy the cameras get like the dslr can't do it either it's just a wrong kind of lens but you can't really focus on things close up so that makes detail photography a little frustrating sometimes Oh, my point was I needed to scan this because I couldn't get a good picture of it. I'm having issues with the exposure. I didn't at first, but now it doesn't seem to adjust the exposure automatically very well. Everything I take is super dark and I don't know how to... Ugh, just adjust, man. Adjust. I just like to leave it on camera mode, like video mode. I guess I should just glue this. I'm always worried when I put these pieces on um, because people don't really expect them in commissions because they don't really know what I do and so I like to put them on in place and so I'm always kind of prepared to take them off if the person actually does not want that. But I do have a bunch of stuff to mail out for Patreon. I've selected my favorite pages. I don't have very many though. This is the best I could get. The Wagashi page, the Portuguese and Man of War. The flatfish. Oh, sorry. The mother flippin' flatfish is dead nettle and the cinnabar. Usually reinforce these on a card or something, five by seven. And I think this month I will probably put a bee sticker in the envelopes. Because I completely forgot those existed. <laughs> I think I I think I sold one bee sticker entirely. Thank god I wanted to do it and it wasn't just like making stickers for some random person, right? I just have to remember that they exist and I forgot. I finally used the very last of my glowing star tape that I've had for 800 years. And this piece of star tape is going to flip in Hawaii, yo. You think I can fit in this package? I say as I'm vlogging from a picturesque touristy city. Where is he? 